Alright guys, what is going on? Fly here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's still very spooky in World of Warships. We are going to be revisiting the Tier 10 German cruiser, the Hindenburg. Now, I made a video about the Hindenburg when I first got to touch her. <laughs> um, or him. It's German, so will let me say that. Still weird. Um, probably about three or four weeks ago. Maybe two, three weeks ago. Anyways, um, I had a lot of problem with the AP and the HE not doing a lot of damage. Now, I still know that the HE doesn't do too much damage um, compared to the other nations, such as the Jap uh, Japanese HE and American HE, uh, but the AP, at least from some screenshots I've seen in some videos, the AP has been buffed. Um, what, with that aside, um, I really love the Hindenburg, only for its guns. Oh my gosh, they're just gorgeous firing guns. Quick firing, good accuracy, and now hopefully we'll have a lot of damage in store. Some other cool things about this ship is that the anti-air, the, the anti-aircraft defense is pretty powerful. Uh, we have a lot of, we have 55 millimeters, we have 105 millimeters, we have 40 millimeters. Now I'm trying to see where that 137 millimeter is. Um, but anyway, so with 55 millimeter anti-aircraft guns, these can engage at long range which is really nice for being in a fleet. And then we have these dual ones. God, that is, that must have been an amazing gun to shoot. <sighs> Look at that. And then we have the 20 millimeters that are for close range defense. And then we have 11 of these like kind of ver like verbal ones, Vebo ones kind of thing. And so pretty much in today's video, we're gonna be just testing if this ship can compete against the other tier 10 uh, cruisers such as the Des Moines and the Zao um, because when I first played her she would she would just I would get like 10 hits on a target you know granted it wasn't broadside but um it wouldn't do like it would do like 700 damage I was like what the fuck I'd hit you with like 12 8 inch shells okay at least give me a thousand damage uh, but today we're gonna be rolling let's do we have any Sierra mics we have Juliet Charlie well, that's good um if you guys are wondering and purchasing or researching and going for this ship um one downside you have to look for is that its armor really sucks. Really sucks. So you have to be all situational, range shots, and if, and if you do get close, you got to get very close because um, any kind of mid-range shooting at this ship will do a lot of damage. Any kind of close-range shooting won't do as much damage because I believe this ship has the same type of construction as the Tirpitz. We're going to get... Um, this will be good. Beautiful. Now, we're, that was just increasing my... my it, Increases my repair by 20%. And then we'll go to our exterior for our epic camouflage. That is nice. Sick. Alright guys, let's do it. Alright guys, so welcome to some Hindenburg gameplay. Black Hawk with a 4. Says Hindenburg, nice. So I'm pretty sure that that carrier will go after me as soon as he finds me. Uh, but at the same time, we do have Murphy in a Lexington who hopefully will provide some awesome aircraft for fighter support at the same time. A lot of carriers don't run with the uh, fighter uh, supremacy uh, package. They usually go with the bombers. But anyway, so let's talk a little bit about the Hindenburg. Um, what is going to happen with you guys when you get this ship is that you're going to be amazed with its guns. You're going to be amazed... We're going to test the damage today. Hopefully we can see that at the end of the video. Um, but the armor is literally the shittiest armor you've ever seen. At far range. And maybe at medium range as well. There goes the Yamada. Hopefully it doesn't target me right off the bat. There goes the Baltimore. Alright, yeah, we have some Yamada rounds coming in. We're already going to... No, never mind. I don't know what those rounds were. Um, we do have a Baltimore pushing up. There comes the torpedo bombers and everything. We're gonna try to fire this Baltimore right now. The Lexington just got his fighters up, so that's good. Bad shots on, on the uh, Baltimore, though. Fuck. Everywhere I shoot, he turns off from. Don't worry. Once he shows his side, we'll get him good. There's a decent salvo. Let's go ahead and turn not full broadside here. That was nice damage, actually. A 
little shots are a little bit too, actually they're perfect shots. Woo, baby! Beautiful, Hindenburg. Beautiful turnout. I'm getting focused already. That should rip the bolt to more. Hopefully those things are placed correctly. Oh, only four. The thing with playing the Hindenburg this early in, the, in its release is that a lot of people like to go for you. Four shots. A splice as well. All right, so we did a lot of damage on that Baltimore, and that's what I was told that the AP has been buffed. Ooh, those are, those are scary Yamato shells. Whatever, the, yeah, Magi Yamatos. Um, I've been told that the AP has been buffed, and we just had like a 6K, 10K salvo right there, which is beautiful. Okay, um, the Baltimore is now in hiding to lick his wounds. Let's see if. I might go, let's see where everyone else is going. Oh, uh, we have a Turpitz, a Magi. They are, these two battleships are pulling back. Or one battleship, Baltimore is escorting it. Yeah, we're already on a retreat already when we shouldn't be. We have, we have really good firepower in, in a really close area. I'm, I'm going to have to slow down. With the Hindenburg, you really can't roll alone. Um, because most of the time at high tier gameplay, there's always an escort ship, escort ship with a battleship. And you cannot handle both of those. So I'm going to wait for these guys to figure out what they're going to do. Um, yeah, can we can we go this way, guys? Yeah. There you go. Follow the Hindenburg. It's actually not a good idea to be the tip of the sword with the Hindenburg just because of its armor. But its guns, can, is confirmed, are fucking awesome. The velocity, the accuracy, the dispersion. Beautiful. All right, heads up, boys. Stationary Lexington, you're dead. Hmm. Only three in the water, though. That's good. Eh, not too much damage from the Lexington. Alright, so now we're going to push in for some more combat here. And let me tell you this right now, guys. If someone's shooting at you... God damn, the iceberg is fucking deep. Um, you should never be... Okay, this is dangerous. This is not good at all. I should have waited a little bit longer for this. But you should never be broadside of anyone shooting at you. Like, even right now, I, I, I'm cringing at being broadside. But I have to, because I don't want to go in there yet. At the same time, I want to fire. I don't think I'm spotted, though. So let's go check these guys out, in case they're firing their guns off. This Yamato has no idea where his guns are looking. What the fuck? That's actually awesome looking. And we're gonna let some go here. Okay. So we got some good salvos out there. 6k. These won't do too much damage right here. I'll take that though. Now we're gonna pull out into this iceberg. We might have one more shot left. Good. Okay, team. Can we get moving? Come on, you guys are turpits. You guys have an engine. Let's go. Oh. I, I can't do this, guys. I can't be first. I will die so quickly. It's not even funny. Alright, but we do have an Amagi who is um, coming around the edge over here. I don't know if you guys see my mouse. Um, but he's going to go into the B cap as well, and we'll go there. Keep moving, guys. Catch up. I hate... Now, I, I understand some battleships do play passive because um, they're designed like that. Like the, the Amagi. The Amagi. The Amagi. That's not a brawler ship at all. That's a sniper ship, you know, long range. But these Iowas and all these... Oh my gosh, tier 10 gameplay is so just like, don't hit me, don't hit me. It's like, you know, battleships, you can take some damage. That's why you're there. You're meat shields for us cruisers that can fucking rip things to pepperonis. All right, we got some shots coming in. Uh, let's see what that is. Uh, not a cago dude. Cago dude, dude. Oh, the Yamato is turning in, it looks like. We're gonna fire it over here and see what happens. Am 
might get some hits on him. Just out of range. Alright, so now we're going to reform. I'm going to turn it all the way around. Doesn't seem like our team wants to push up this area anymore. Um, what I would really love to do in this game is if you guys can... Um, I don't know if you guys see my mouse. I really don't. But have the whole team go like this and then cut in right here. I can't press anymore. Press in there. I would have loved that. And that would have just completely un unhinged them. They would have been in a full retreat into this area, which is not good battleship area. But it doesn't, doesn't seem like that's going to be a thing. We have to retreat now and hopefully defend them from pushing up the uh, 9 and 10 line. Yeah, I know there's a DD over there. I'm not going over there. Especially not a tier 9 DD, man. And a Japanese one as well. Long range torps. Max damage as well. GG, we lost. No, Murph, relax, dude. Is, is, is that Murph in the... Maybe that's not a destroyer. Those are some really nice guns. Uh, we got some rams going on. My gosh. But it's cool to see how the uh, Hindenburg has that really, really nice AP guns. Good damage. 6k, 10k, 4k, 3k. I remember when I was shooting at like a Des Moines, it would give me like 500 damage. It was horrible. Gonna go have. <clears throat> I'm heading back to defend our carrier and um, some of our battleships over here. Okay, Tango, we have a Turpets. Okay, the Imagi's hopefully following me. Now I'm not gonna shoot until I'm kind of. Oh gosh, this is not good at all. Fuck it, we have to do something. Where are you? I want to get out of here as, as fast as possible. I hate being broadside in the ship. Good AP salvos. Just a little bit out of range for us. Now, can we fire over this? We definitely can. Let's put some rounds in this turpets. Come on, come on, get the fuck out of here. Turn, turn, this is gonna do a lot, a lot of damage, a lot of damage. This is gonna hurt. Yep, there we go, and there is my worst fear right there. I'm glad I was able to demonstrate that for you guys. Never have this ship fucking broadside at all. Please, no, never, don't ever even do it. Oh my gosh, the easiest ship in the game, the Citadel. Oh, look at these guns. Not bad at all, though, huh? Mm, shoot a little bit higher. Full power, full power. Poor shots, damn it. This guy's struggling now. The enemy is about to win. I don't expect to pen. Them. Like that. Okay, now we got now we got to turn back out. We have an Amagi, a Yamato, two Yamatos. These guys are playing range game. And as you guys can see, our oh my gosh, thank God, so doesn't do any damage. As you guys can see, our team. Sorry about the Ram, buddy. Um, has you can tell that we're not fluent like the other team. They've got a little bit of a fluent line going on and stuff, and we're just kind of... Oh, hang on, Tango. Where, where, where's that at? Okay, we got it marked. I'm gonna head back this way. Oh, thank God he didn't shoot me. Got the anti-aircraft up. Good, they're gone. 55 millimeter anti-aircrafts. Nope, get away. Come on, baby. You're here, for, you're here for 28 more seconds. There we go. Torpedoes, Beautiful. Okay, let's not hit a ground. Our Baltimore has now gone for a long time. Now who can we shoot at though? Yamato is pushing up pretty close to us on the uh, left side of the map. 
We do have an Amagi starting to enter our range. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on normal alert. Now it looks like a lot of our guys are going for C now. Can we get you locked? Thank you. Salvo out. You're gonna hit the iceberg. Man, my team is just doing superbly well. You got three hits on that Amagi, nice. Now, it's good that our team is now capping. That will allow the game to go on a little bit longer. And then it will allow us to um, hopefully damage some more of these ships. Because the game is still, like, like it, we're, we're still in good position. At the same time, this left side is just scary. We have two Yamatos and a Magi. And once I peek out here, which I'm going to have to do, because I don't want to stay hidden all game, we can do this. I can feel it. I can feel it. Our anti-aircraft bonus is almost up again in case they try to come bomb me. Okay, out, 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 out. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Oh shit, come on, come on, come on. None, none of that. There goes 10,000, that's beautiful. Damn it, I'm dead. Mm. So what happened right there is I had a... Yeah, just that fucking iceberg ruined my escape. Ooh. But you guys saw that AP damage on the Yamato. Now, I feel like I lost the game for our team. <clears throat> right there. I feel like if I would have stayed more passive and um, maybe followed our... Well, our team's not even really together other than these two guys. Then we would have won. But, you know, all in hindsight. Let's go look at the damage we got this game after the game ends. Only one ship destroyed. We had a hundred hits though. That's pretty nice. Did I get the highest marks on my team? Hmm. Seventy-seven thousand damage that game. AP. That's phenomenal for a very slow-paced game like that, and um, not really having good fleet formations. But we're going to try again. We're going to try to uh, top that score and show you more about how the Hindenburg guns work. Now, again, guys, don't fucking show your broadside. All right, so welcome to another Hindenburg gameplay. Hopefully we'll last a little bit longer than the last game and some more damage. What I've noticed, in the, at least in high tier gameplay, is that once the match starts, everyone kind of sits around for like a minute and kind of waits for like other players to start moving in front of them. And I think this is because they want to sit behind a player and do damage while they take none. It's kind of like, world of hide behind the ship in front of you while he takes damage and as a Hindenburg I cannot be the lead ship I really can't I will take enough damage by being next to a battleship that's in front of me okay but it looks like okay here we go we have fuck we have a assault group we have a1 strike raiders coming in or whatever you want to call them we got fighter engagements. We're going to launch our um, catapult plane just in case. He'll be up for five minutes.
And we have an Otago going full hand by himself over here. Hope Okay, good. He is turning around. We have a really good fleet formation right now. Good. These, these NCs need to just catch up with speed. There comes long range engagement shots. Let's pull out a little bit. That was from a Yamato. Imagine those would have hit. Oh. Okay, our catapult plane still up, keeping us safe. Now this is like one of the worst maps, cause like it's kind of all broadside all time to get to your certain location. Okay, so what I want to do right now with my team is I want to bring them into the middle of the map and slice like the map in half, right here. Let's do it right now. Come on, come on, guys. There we go. Good, 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 good. And what this does is it, it cuts off the enemy push, and usually they do retreat. And once they, holy shit, this guy's getting kind of too close for comfort. He's got fast torpedoes too. He's a tier fucking nine or something. Pull out, pull out, pull out. We didn't hit any of those? God darn it. Where are you? Come back, boy. Only one? My goodness gracious. Torpedoes astern. There's four. Five. I'd rather be shooting AP right now, I'll do a little bit over a thousand damage. Okay, he should be dead. Okay. Now guys, follow, follow me in. T. Try to clear these guys out of the sky before they get home. Loading the AP. Look at that German anti-aircraft going up. Push in soon. Okay, so in a Yibuki is now heading back into his cap area. I'm drifting away from our uh, ships right now, which I don't really want to do that. I want to try to stay in formation as long as I can with him. What I wanted to do is I wanted the Iowa is just to vertical these guys broadside, and that works really well. And here comes the shells. Dodge right there. Come on, turn out Hindenburg. Turn out, baby. Bring in some citadels right here. I'll take 3,000 damage. Turn out, turn out. Nice. Thousand damage. Almost dead here. Okay. He is dead. You destroyed an enemy cruiser. We need another battleship to step up, or we're not going to be able to push this area. Oh! Come on, North Carolina. Where's the other battleship? We only had two. They still have two alive and a Yamato. Incoming dive bombers. a lot of them. Come on, T. Come on, T. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. T's up. Let's, t let's take him out. Problem solved. 
Look at this. Fuck yeah, team. That's what I'm talking about. We gotta focus this Ibuki. Dodge your shells. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on normal alert. Gotta be careful of any incoming dive bombers. Or, uh, sorry, battleship shells. Now there is, there is, there is a Fubuki over here doing a lot of torpedoing. Come on, guns, let's rotate, let's rotate, let's rotate, let's rotate. God damn, this fucking carry has so much damn planes coming out. Ten hits on the Yamato. I'm fucking dead. God damn it. Oh, he didn't fucking do anything to me. Incoming. Come on, kill some of them. Kill some of them anti-aircraft. That's way too close to fucking do anything, right? Fucking rip me. Man, dude, carriers fucking ruin everything. God darn it. Look at that, like, the... So, when Wargaming says that submarines could not be balanced in the game, but carriers are balanced in the game. Why didn't we shoot down? Look where I died. Look where I died. Look how many ships were around here that were shooting at those torpedo bombers as well. Wait, you, you do you know the numbers of torpedo bombers that made it home from engaging a sh engaging a ship that close? Like fucking none. Look at Midway and God damn. But anyways, guys, I want to say one thing about this video. Um, the Hindenburg's guns are fucking amazing. Its armor sucks dick. Um, its maneuverability is pretty slow because it is a big ship. At the same time, it is a fast ship. Um, but that's pretty much it. Look at, look at, look at the carrier gameplay right now. Look at this fucking bullshit. Both carriers have bombers. They're not engaging with fighters at all. They don't... <sighs> Fucking hate carriers. Alright guys, what is going on Fly here and welcome back to the channel and today's video is still very spooky in World of Warships. We are going to be revisiting the tier 10 German cruiser, the Hindenburg. Now I made a video about the Hindenburg when I first got to touch her, <laughs> um, or him, the Germans will let me say that, still weird, um, probably about three or four weeks ago, maybe two, three weeks ago. Anyways, um, I had a lot of problem with the AP and the HE not doing a lot of damage. Now, I still know that the HE doesn't do too much damage um, compared to the other nations, such as the Jap uh, Japanese HE and American HE, uh, but the AP, at least from some screenshots I've seen in some videos, the AP has been buffed. Um, what, with that aside, um, I really love the Hindenburg, only for its guns. Oh my gosh, they're just gorgeous firing guns. Quick firing, good accuracy, and now hopefully we'll have a lot of damage in store. Some other cool things about this ship is that the anti-air, the, the anti-aircraft defense is pretty powerful. Uh, we have a lot of, we have 55 millimeters, we have 105 millimeters, we have 40 millimeters. 
Now, I'm trying to see where that one 37 millimeter is. Um, but anyway, so with 55 millimeter anti-aircraft guns, these can engage at long range, which is really nice for being in a fleet. And then we have these dual ones. God, that is, that must have been an amazing gun to shoot. <sighs> Look at that. And then we have the 20 millimeters that are for close range defense. And then we have 11 of these like kind of ver like verbal wins, Vebo wins kind of thing. And so pretty much in today's video, we're going to be just testing if this ship can compete against the other tier 10 uh, cruisers, such as the Des Moines and the Zhao. Um, because when I first played her, she would, she would just, I would get like 10 hits on a target. You know, granted it wasn't broadside, but um, it wouldn't do, like, it would do like 700 damage. I was like, what the fuck? I'd hit you with like 12 8 inch shells. Okay, at least give me a thousand damage. Uh, but today we're going to be rolling this. Do we have any Sierra Mikes? We have Juliet Charlie. Well, that's good. Um, if you guys are wondering and purchasing or researching and going for this ship, um, one downside you have to look for is that its armor really sucks. Really sucks. So you have to be all situational. Range shots. And if, and if you do get close, you got to get very close because um, any kind of mid-range shooting at this ship will do a lot of damage. Any kind of close range shooting won't do as much damage because I believe this ship has the same type of construction as a Tirpitz. We're gonna get um, this. Gonna be good. Beautiful. Now we're, that was just increasing my my it increases my repair by twenty percent. And then we'll go to our exterior for our epic camouflage. That is nice. Sick. All right, guys. Let's do it. All right, guys, so welcome to some Hindenburg gameplay. Black Hawk with a four says Hindenburg, nice. So I'm pretty sure that that carrier will go after me as soon as he finds me. Uh, but at the same time, we do have Murphy in a Lexington who hopefully will provide some awesome aircraft for fighter support at the same time. A lot of carriers don't run with the uh, fighter uh, supremacy uh, pack of this, but you should never be broadside of anyone shooting at you. Like even right now, I, I, I'm cringing at being broadside, but I have to because I don't want to go in there yet. At the same time, I want to fire. I don't think I'm spotted, though. So let's go check these guys out in case they're firing their guns off. This Yamato has no idea where his guns are looking. What the fuck? That's actually awesome looking. And we're going to let some go here. We got some good salvos out there. 6k. These won't do too much damage right here. Yeah. I'll take that though. Now we're going to pull out into this iceberg. We might have one more shot left. Good. Okay, team. Can we get moving? Come on, you guys are turpid. You guys have an engine. Let's go. Oh. I, I can't do this, guys. I can't be first. I will die so quickly. It's not even funny. All right, but we do have an Amagi who is um, coming around the edge over here. I don't know if you guys see my mouse. Um, but he's going to go into the B cap as well, and we'll go there. Keep moving, guys. Catch up. I hate... Now, I, I understand some battleships do play passive because... Um, they're designed like that, like the um, the Amagi, the Amagi, the Amagi. That's not a brawler ship at all. That's a sniper ship, you know, long range. But these Iowas and all these. Oh my gosh, tier ten gameplay is so just like, don't hit me, don't hit me. It's like you know, battleships. You can take some damage. That's why you're there. Your meat ships. I usually go with the bombers. But anyway, so let's talk a little bit about the Hindenburg. Um, what is going to happen with you guys when you get this ship? Is that you're going to be amazed with its guns. You're going to be amazed. We're going to test the damage today. Hopefully we can see that at the end of the video. Um, but the armor is literally the shittiest armor you've ever seen. At far range. And maybe at medium range as well. There goes the Yamato. Hopefully it doesn't target me right off the bat. There goes a the Baltimore. Alright, yeah, we have some Yamato rounds coming in. We're already going to... No, never mind. I don't know what those rounds were. Um, we do have a 
Baltimore pushing up. There comes the torpedo bombers and everything. We're going to try to fire this Baltimore right now. The Lexington just got his fighters up, so that's good. Bad shots on, on the uh, Baltimore, though. Fuck. Everywhere I shoot, he turns off from. Don't worry. Once he shows his side, we'll get him good. There's a decent salvo. Let's go ahead and turn not full broadside here. Wow, that was nice damage, actually. A little shots a little bit too. Actually, they're perfect shots. Woo, baby! Beautiful, Hindenburg. Beautiful turnout. I'm getting focused already. That should rip the bolt tomorrow. Hopefully, those things are placed correctly. Oh, only four. The thing with playing the Hindenburg this early in, the, in its release is that a lot of people like to go for you. Poor shots. A splice as well. All right, so we did a lot of damage on that Baltimore, and that's what I was told that the AP has been buffed. Ooh, those are, those are scary Yamato shells, whatever. The, yeah, Magi Yamatos. Um, I've been told that the AP has been buffed, and we just had like a 6K, 10K salvo right there, which is beautiful. Okay, um, the Baltimore is now in hiding to lick his wounds. Let's see if. I might go, let's see where everyone else is going. Oh, uh, we have a Turpitz, a Magi. They are, these two battleships are pulling back. Or one battleship, Baltimore is escorting it. Yeah, we're already on a retreat already when we shouldn't be. We have, we have really good firepower in, in a really close area. I'm, I'm going to have to slow down. With the Hindenburg, you really can't roll alone. Um, because most of the time at high tier gameplay, there's always an escort ship, escort ship with a battleship. And you cannot handle both of those. So I'm going to wait for these guys to figure out what they're going to do. Um, yeah, can we can we go this way, guys? Yeah. There you go. Follow the Hindenburg. It's actually not a good idea to be the tip of the sword with the Hindenburg just because of its armor. But its guns, can, can, is confirmed, are fucking awesome. The velocity, the accuracy, the dispersion. Beautiful. All right, heads up, boys. Stationary Lexington, you're dead. Hmm. Only three in the water, though. That's good. Eh, not too much damage from the Lexington. Alright, so now we're going to push in for some more combat here. And let me tell you this right now, guys. If someone's shooting at you... God damn, the iceberg is fucking deep. Um, you should never be... Okay, this is dangerous. This is not good at all. I should have waited a little bit longer.